everyone, welcome back to Healthy Grocery Girl. I'm Megan Roosevelt, your registered dietitian, and today I'm gonna to share with you how to make whipped cauliflower, which is an excellent alternative to mashed potatoes. Potatoes. Don't get me wrong, I love all types of potatoes, but perhaps you're wanting to watch your blood sugar levels or you're just wanting to incorporate more vegetables that you don't typically eat, such as cauliflower. This is the perfect recipe just for that. So here's how you make it. To make this recipe, you will need approximately five cups of cauliflower florets, half a cup of coconut cream, one small leek, three cloves of garlic, one tablespoon of coconut oil, sea salt, and green onion for garnish. Today we're using Vita Coco coconut oil, which I love because it's organic. And any of the grocery finds I include in my cooking videos, you can always find more information in the description box below. In a stovetop pan on medium heat, add your coconut oil and leeks and cook for approximately three minutes. The technique we're using to cook our cauliflower is called steam roasting. You're going to place your cauliflower florets, your garlic cloves, and just a little bit of water, approximately one to two tablespoons, into your steam roaster. And then place in the oven at 400 degrees and let cook for approximately 25 to 30 minutes until the cauliflower is tender. Next, we'll add our cooked cauliflower, coconut cream, freshly ground pepper, and sea salt into a food processor and pulse together until it's nice and creamy. So now we'll just add in our leeks and we'll pulse together for just a few seconds. Okay, it's looking perfect. So now I want to give it a taste test to see if we want to add any other ingredients. Mmm, it's perfect. It's so creamy and delicious. It tastes just like mashed potatoes. Mmm, this is great. So our whipped cauliflower, I want to call it mashed potatoes because it looks exactly like it, is completely ready. And now I'm just gonna serve up two helpings for me and my husband. Can't wait to eat this. So the last thing I'm gonna do is just sprinkle on top some green onion and then just another little pinch of salt and pepper. And that's it, that's how you make my whipped cauliflower. I know you guys are gonna love this recipe. It's so simple, it's so healthy and really delicious. For full details on how to make this recipe, head on over to healthygrocerygirl.com. There'll be a link below. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, thank you for subscribing. I'm Megan Roosevelt, your registered dietitian, and I will see you guys in the next video.